Hi, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to really help you with your social media posting and content ideas, content generation, and even producing a full calendar of social media content for you in a matter of seconds. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm using ChatGPT Plus. There's not a lot of difference between that and the standard ChatGPT, other than the fact that it's reliable and it works pretty fast. And obviously you don't get all the experiencing problems notifications but that's it so don't worry if you're using the free version I'm going to paste in my command here my prompt and I'm going to get it going and what I'm doing is getting it to create some social media content for a fictitious yoga studio that I have and uh, it's going to be motivational tips for yoga people so let's see how well it's doing here so we've got the date in the first column, which is perfect. Uh, March the 1st here. This is I've got it to create 10 posts for the month of March 23. And uh, feel free to copy this uh, actual prompt and use it for yourselves here. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll put it in the description for you so you can literally just lift it and put it in. And if you found it useful, please do uh, press the like button on this video. So here we go. Look at this. Uh, we've got the dates down the left. Then we've got our social media post itself. And then the hashtag separated out. Didn't ask for that, but it, it did separate them. So that's fine. But that's probably good because some networks don't like it or they don't really, they're not really useful. Let's say, for example, Facebook. I, I don't think anybody really uses hashtags in Facebook. It's really a Twitter thing and it can be very useful on Twitter to help attract uh, traffic. Then what it's done in the in the fourth column here is it is actually put a description of the image that it, it would be ideal to match the post. So it saves you thinking about oh, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. What would be a good picture for that? No problem. They've already thought of it. Uh, a photo of a yoga mat and block set up with a beginner friendly pose like child's pose. There you go. Done. And so it's just going along, doing all this content for you. I have asked it for 10 posts, so it'll carry on doing that. You could ask it for more, of course. It depends how frequently that you want to post on your social media. But what a game changing time saver this is. I mean, imagine having to do all the research to find like motivational tips for, for yoga in this example and then coming up with all the best hashtags and everything. Now, what this has done is give you the content for the next month. You could do month by month with ChatGPT. I recommend probably doing a new chat for each month. So then you can easily access everything on the left here and go straight to it in the future. But we can take this now. I'm going to use Canva uh, for this example, but you can use other platforms like uh, Hootsuite or, or many other content uh, planning and social media planning posting platforms. That's a mouthful, isn't it? And so now we'll go here and I'm going to take this social media post right there, which um, it has actually included the hashtags in there, hasn't it? And it's separated them. So that's a bit bizarre. Maybe we'll just have to uh, work on that prompt just a teeny bit there just to get it a little clearer. It's funny. Sometimes you'll put the prompt in and it will do it. It will do just three columns and sometime it will do it in four. But either way, doesn't matter to us. We've got the content and it's done a great job. So let's go over to Canva. Now, Canva has a content planner. And if you haven't used Canva before, there's a link underneath this video. Try it out. It is amazing. It's probably one of the platforms, software platforms that I use the most in uh, my business. And uh, if we go to March the 1st here, you can see that we can just go and add in content for any particular date that we want. But first of all, I'm going to do it this way. If we go to create a design, Instagram post, and now what we can do is first of all, use the description that it gave us of the image. So I'm going to have a look here. It says photo of a yoga mat and block set up. So I'm just going to put a uh, yoga mat uh, or maybe just put yoga child's pose. I don't know what that is because I'm not a yoga person, although I uh, I understand uh, it's a, an excellent way to um, become more physically and mentally stable and fit and healthy and flexible and all these other benefits. So there we are. I don't know if that's the child's pose, but it looks to be the familiar theme here across all of these images. So I'm going to say it is. And then I'm going to just click 
uh, set image as background. There we go. One child pose done. Now, if we go now, if we go up here, we click share and then we go to schedule. We'll say we want it for that March the 1st, just like uh, ChatGPT recommended. We'll click next. And now I'm going to say I'm going to do it to my uh, LinkedIn. I'm not actually going to post this because everyone will be thinking, why is he posting about yoga all of a sudden? So we'll go back over to here. I'm going to copy that first post just there like that. And then paste it in. And then literally you click schedule and it's job done. It's done it with this image. We've used ChatGPT to rapidly speed up the content creation, come up with the ideas, come up with the day that we should be doing it and everything. So it's super useful. And if you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe. And while I have you, if you're interested in learning more about ChatGPT and how it can rapidly uh, help you become more productive, really, in your business life, then I've got a free ChatGPT community that you can just join with people all over the world who are experimenting and using ChatGPT for their businesses, uh, both business and personal use, actually, and coming out with all of these incredible prompts that you can just use for yourself. So there's a link underneath the video to go and join it. Go join it. Say hi, fill out the bio and introduce yourself and uh, feel free to mingle with other people who are doing great things with ChatGPT. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video really soon.